welcome back to Sam's Thing To Do, where every week we create tips and tutorials on all things adulting. Today's tutorial is on filing your tax form 2551Q on the EBIR application. Okay, let's get to it! Before you begin, you should know that you should be registered with BIR in order to have your TIN and to pay for your taxes online. To create a separate video tutorial on registering your business or yourself as a freelancer with BIR and DBI. If you haven't already downloaded the eBIR Forms app, you may do so in the link below or I'll put it somewhere here. EBIR Forms is the official application created by the government in order to help entrepreneurs and freelancers file their taxes online. However, if you're a Mac user like me, this app doesn't work yet on Mac, so you'll need to borrow a Windows PC if you want to use this. First, you type in your TIN number, and this can be found in your COR again. You have to choose your RDO or your Revenue District Office. So each area is actually assigned a specific RDO and you can figure out what your RDO is in the link below. So for Kaintai and Tai Tai, where I'm from, the RDO is 046. So that's what we'll use in this example. Once you've filled out your TIN and your RDO, the EBIR Forms app should automatically fill out the rest of the details. Amazing! Now you have to choose the form. So we'll choose the latest version of Form 2551Q. As of 2020, the latest version is 2551Q version 2018. Next, you click Fill Up and that should bring you to the form page. We use the calendar year, so choose calendar. For this example, we'll be filing the first quarter of 2020. So your year end then should be December 2020. Like I said, we'll be filing for the first quarter, so choose first quarter. And this is not an amended return, so choose no for that one. If you have withholding tax from a client, you should attach this as a separate sheet. I'll make another video on how to do this, but for now, we'll just assume that you have no sheets to attach to this form. Even if you are registered under BMPE or the Barangay Micro Business Enterprise, this is not considered a tax relief, so you just choose no for this option. And if you are a BNB, you cannot actually avail of the 8% tax rate. So you have to choose the graduated income tax rate. Once you've filled all of that out, just click next and it'll take you to the next page. So different income streams will actually have different tax rates. You may find the list of all of the available tax rates and the different income streams in that second page and choose which one applies to your business. But if you are a small business or an entrepreneur, you will most likely fall under the first category or PT010. This is for persons exempt from that. So just go up and choose that from the dropdown. Check your books and compute for how much total gross sales you've had for that quarter and then list that down in the field. Then EBIR forms will automatically compute for your percentage tax. Next step is to click validate and EBIR forms will check if you've already accomplished all of the necessary fields. After doing that, you can review everything and check if everything's correct and complete before you submit your final copy. You also have the option of printing out the form so that you have a hard copy. After reviewing everything, you can click submit or final copy and you're done. Yay! So it's super fast and BIR should send you an email like, within the day or a few days after to confirm your submission. If you don't receive an email, make sure to call them up and check if they received your submission. Now that you've filed your tax form, you can now proceed to pay for it either online or through any of the accredited payment centers. If you want to know how to pay through GCash, you can check out my other video which I'll leave the link somewhere here or in the description below. We'll also be making another video on filing your form 1701 or your income tax form. And yes, even if you're BMBE, you still need to file that form. Yay! Yay! Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed and learned from that video. Don't worry, I promise I'll start working on all of your video requests as soon as possible. So. Again, don't forget to subscribe below and hit the 
bell button, bell button, bell button so that you'll be notified when these videos finally come out. So that's it. I'll see you next week.